Wade Ritchie will kick it off for the LSU Tigers. They won the toss. They defer. And we have Sherman Williams as the deep man back for the Crimson Tide, number 20. Low liner. Marcel West will pick it up at the two. And he is going to be tackled inside the 10-yard line. The line to make is that 20. Straight drop, zings the pass, and that is great coverage and a great catch by Todrick Malone. You could see the defensive back was as close as he could be. LSU shows blitz, here they come. Coming after Barker, pass on the way, it's overthrown. It will be punting time for the Crimson Tide, and you'll hear a standing ovation from the student section. You see Alabama creeping up defensively as Trimmer gets the ball. And he's going to be swamped under at the line of scrimmage. Ball is taken away. And into the end zone for a touchdown by Sam Shade, 30 yards. we got to go back and see exactly where it came loose. Well, Ron, they're a team that has just shot themselves all year. They've been like Santa Claus. They've been given gifts to the opponent all through the season. Christmas comes early when you're an opponent of LSU. Flag is down. Pass is thrown completely. They take it out to the 45-yard line. That's Shedrick Wilson on the receiving end. Howard hit as the ball is thrown. Off the shoulder pads, intercepted and recovered again by Alabama. Now they say did not have possession. Running play, hit in the backfield, and going to be dropped. Van Cotton is there to make the play. The junior out of Moss Point, Mississippi. Third down, 14. They need to take it to the Crimson Tide 45-yard line. Gets it away, has it complete. That's enough for the first down of his test. Well, he's right on all those accounts, but uh, they're ready to, to see some winning down here at Tiger Country. Drop play. Big opening and down to the 35-yard line. Robert Toomer on the carry, and Gaston came up to make the hit. Third down and two. Alabama creeping up at the line of scrimmage, and you can see Royal... Andre Royal crept up to the line of scrimmage almost as soon as Toomer got the football. He just slid down the line of scrimmage and made the hit on it. You got a chance to upset a top-ranked football team, and you got to take every opportunity in this football game. Pitch play, hit in the backfield. Turner's going to lose five yards. Crimson Tide leads at 7 0. The offense has not had to score because the defense did it. Barker rolls the pocket and throws it complete. He's got Curtis Brown stepping out of bounds, and let's go down to Mike Adamley again. Mike? Gonna go long. Patrick Malone inside the 25 yard line. First and 10, Crimson Tide. Here comes the blitz. Williams going to throw the ball back to the end zone. It is going to be intercepted by LSU's Ivory Hillier. First down. Look up pass complete. The team slipped a little bit and then breaks away from the tackle out to the 27. Eric Smith working against Wayne Rudd there. Turner going to lose a couple. And Mike Tirico, let's check with you. Report to LSU Police. Bobby Jenkins, Angela Smith, David Smith. Time in good field position. Shuttle LSU pass Police. comes to Lynch. Breaks it out across the 50. And Terrence will be pushed out at the 46-yard line by Hilliard. Third down. They need it the 37. The blockers in front, and Williams is going to be wrapped up at the 44-yard line by James Gilliard. Second 
the five. You can see the stunt of the interior lineman. Coming from behind, as you've seen, gets it away complete. Shedrick Wilson out to the 45-yard line. You can see by the clock, we have just gone under two minutes left in this opening quarter from Baton Rouge. Hyde coming with the pressure. Pass out in the flat, has it complete. That's Besh, the senior from Slidell. Oops, they're going to say juggling the ball. He did not have possession of the football. Could be the last play of this opening quarter. Safety blitz is on. Pass is complete, and Brown, the man we were just talking about, Curtis makes the reception. Here he comes, runs into his own teammate. Then the ball goes off his teammate's knee. It doesn't go to the ground. Hops right up in the air, and you see number 31, Sam Shade, takes it 30 yards for a touchdown. Intercepted. And now the ball is loose and knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Torrey James made the interception, lost yardage, but they have the football back. Well, they brought Ivory Hilliard again on a blitz. They're trying to heat up Jay Barker. Alabama caught outside as they were coming on the blitz. Pass is caught inside the 40-yard line by Todd Burke. Pressure up the middle. Our ball is caught at the 39-yard line by Beck. <laughs> Howard goes up on top. He's got a man in the end zone, and the flag goes down. Did he catch it for a touchdown? A defensive pass. Interference on the defense. 15 yards, first down. Third down, the line that they need is the 14 of Alabama. You can see the creep up on the outside as they come with the blitz. Half thrown, under thrown, and Tennyson is the man that they wanted. Well, they had him too. He was wide open on the out. That's the holder. Good pass. Plenty of distance, and he's got it. <laughs> Alabama wants to keep it alive. They're going to take it just out to around the 35-yard line. Pressure coming up the middle. Barker's pass. Incomplete. Brown couldn't hold on. Deal to punt it away for Alabama. 7-3, the tie on top. Boy, this is a beauty. Kennison all the way back to 23. That kick was a mile high. And still on his feet. Boy, he gets tagged. Ball is loose at the 28-yard line. And there's a lot of pulling going on in the bottom of that pile. LSU football. 48 yards in the kick. Welcome back. This is uh, second down. They've already run one play. Pass over the middle is caught by Kennison. Away from two people. Good heaven. Alabama coming right up to the line of scrimmage to play a little bump with those receivers. Howard lays it up there and he looked for a different route. Bash had cut to the sideline. He thought he was going to turn it back up. Walker, pressure up the middle and it's blocked. Picked up by Alabama. And he going to score Roman Colbert. Tommy Johnson with the block. He got in there so fast, he could have taken the snap from center. Tommy Johnson. No confidence. Howard's going to run. And going to take it across the 45. Football is loose. Still loose. And Alabama has picked it up. That's Tommy Johnson. Third down, Alabama. Barker under pressure. Going to be sacked back at the 39. Gilliard and Stansbury combined on the stop. Pass 
knocked away at a beautiful defensive play at the 30-yard line. You can see going parallel to the ground, Willie Gaston, number 22, to get out there and knock it down. Alabama does not have an offensive point, but they got 14. Seven for the defense, seven for the special team. Passes caught as Brown took it away. They took a chance on the interception, and there's your first offensive score for the Crimson Tide. The LSU program has fallen on hard times in recent years, but I know that you're a firm believer that the, this this town and, and, and this program can get back on track. We certainly hope so. We've done everything we possibly can to... I mean, this is not Curly Hallmark's fault. It just snowballs. I mean, it just... Guys look, mistakes are made. I, I can't explain it other than lack of confidence, lack of concentration. They have blocked another one. And it's going to come out of bounds on the near sideline. Eric Turner got through on this one. It's like springing a leak, you just spring another one. The number on this run. That's Turner. Eric Turner, Eric number Turner. 39 with the punt block. Play action by Barker. Going to throw, wanted to throw backside. Now he's going to run it. Has five, has ten. Going to step out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It goes to Ritter at the ten. At the five, he is still going, and the freshman is knocked down at the four-yard line. First and goal, Crimson Tide. Rodney Young defensively. Tate, Johnson, and Rutledge, the three tight ends in the ballgame, along with Williams and Lynch. And there is Williams. Hit at the line to start the goal line, but he kicks it in for the touchdown. So it's Melvin Hill, the freshman from Mansfield, operating the quarterback. He's going to try to throw it, and he's going to suffer the same fate as Jamie Howard. Ozell Powell and Kendrick Burton combine on the sack, and that's the second one against LSU tonight. Yeah, I'm sure that's the way Curly Holman feels right now. Just try to regroup when you get to the locker room. Toomer again on the right side. He's going to have the first down. Has about eight yards, Sam Shade, up from the secondary, and uh, that'll just about do it. Yep. He whistled it in. You see the clock moving, and that is the end of the first half with our score. Alabama 28 and LSU 3. Now let's check in with Mike Tarika for the GMAC halftime report. Mike? Some teams emphasize special teams. They teach blocking the kick, taking the ball off the kicker's foot. They go the extra detail. Pressure going to be sacked. Hill goes down. It's Andre Royal. That's four, three times they've been sacked. And now the dreaded situation. They've got to try to punt again. They've already had two blocks. Alabama coming after him again. Pressure up the middle. Walker gets it away. This is his best kick. Good coverage kick in the ball. Fumbles the ball after calling for a fair catch. It's free. And LSU has recovered. That's Toomer. Thrown complete at the 25 to Wilson. Second short hit in the backfield, and Andre Royal will not sharp down for a loss. That's not good. Melvin Hill on third down. Ball tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it looks like Damon Jeffries is the man who got a hand up. We have holding on the defense, the 10 yard penalty. Blitz coming from Alabama. Can he get it away? Yep, going for the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown LSU. It's Eric Smith. The fake to reverse. Williams will hold on to it. Has five, has ten, fifteen, and count it off at twenty. Doesn't take very long when he gets the football. Gabe Northern lining up uh, head on with Patrick Cape, the tight end. They go with the running play. Williams is a flag goes down. The players don't want to make that decision. At the defense offside, lined up in the neutral zone. Quarterback sneak as Barker takes it straight ahead, and that'll move the chains. First down, Alabama. Right off the block of John Sherman Williams needs 15 
to hit 1,000 career yards, but he's going to lose one right there to make it 16. That's Bobby Williams. Melvin Hill, under pressure, going to be sacked by Moore. That's four times. And Mike Adamley, check with you one more time. Walker to kick it away. Malone is the deep man for Alabama. Going to run away from it. That takes an Alabama bounce, and they're going to have to get on that one quickly. Only a 23-yard punt. Gene Stallings is going to try to punch the lights out of LSU here. You get the ball inside the 45. This will be the series. Sherman Williams didn't want to do it this quickly. I don't know if he did or not. Inside the 15-yard line, Jay Northern had the catching from behind. Have to go into four and a half minutes to play in the third. Barker, no place to go, and again, Barker's just going to eat the football, and he is not going to make a mistake. One of the reasons he has so few turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> I know I live in Mobile. He's there every day. Barker tries to cut it back inside, loses the football, and it's been picked up by LSU's Gilliard. Midfield. They're going to move it down just about to the 40-yard line. They are 4 of 14 on third down conversions. They're going to try to run it, and they're just all over it. This time, it's Kendrick Burton. And as you can see, that news is not good. Parent Lynch couldn't go to the right, goes back to the left. Caught from behind by Gabe Northern and shoved out of bounds across the way, but it's first and ten Crimson Tide. Junior, sophomores, I mean, this is a young football team of LSU. Northern really has the respect of his teammates. He is a 100% guy. Pass deep over the middle, tipped away and incomplete. Now here comes the flag again. Looks like Rodney Young might have been called for it. We'll wait and see. <laughs> Inside a handoff, this is to Tarrant Lynch, the fullback. And they're trying to get a stop him at around the 15. Pat Rogers, one of the first men there. <laughs> Williams again. You can see Lynch in front of him. Has the first down. Headed to the goal line, and he'll score. Throws it over the middle, has it complete. And it's going to be to the 25-yard line to Besh. That's what it winds up showing right now, Mike. Franklin in the draw play. He's going to take it out across the 35, and we'll have the first down and a good second effort as Samuel is up from the secondary to make the tackle. Fumbled the snap as Hill probably was trying to look on downfield because he hasn't had very much time and that he actually opened Gene Stallings eyes a little bit about opening up the offense well, I told him earlier in the summer I said you'll be the one that decides whether the pass is thrown or whether you have a passing game and he did he's doing it well well it's good to see you thanks for staying out here in the rain I know you got to cover the story for your local station back down to the Mobile but uh, fake and he drills it complete tell you when the youngster gets time as he hits bash right there when he gets time to throw the football now he does good things with it Hill under pressure still got the pass away it's Kevin Franklin and he's gonna wind up with positive yardage on the play is Tyrell Buckner is there to make the stop fourth down line to make the 17 and whoops an error snap and he can only fall on. That's all he could do. <laughs> Pitch back into the sideline. This is Riddle. Two, three, now breaks the tackle. Going to come back to the other side. It's a very talented young guy as a flag goes down and it's Gabe Northern who runs him down. She told me if you want to stay in coaching, you better enjoy the wins because sometimes they don't come very often. Bergdorf spins and hands it off to Riddell. Riddle, I should say, and he turns the corner and is going to have the first down as he's bumped out of bounds by Clarence Lenton. A lot of things. I know you're looking at it. <laughs> you're, waiting for, you're waiting for some more, I know, but I'm not going to give you any more. I'm, I'm off the boxing. I'll tell you, I'm off. I, I made my statement. I'm, I'll live with it. I, I do agree with your analogy. Probably the 
the biggest thing is you can't get the knockout in boxing. And this one. LSU might throw a knockout punch, but they're, uh, Not th now. this one's been over for a while. The 10-run yeah. rule would have taken effect in uh, uh, probably the third quarter. You remember they wore that uh, two years ago when they had that game against BYU. Hill gets outside the tackler, then gets the pass away, and has it complete. And Cedric Wilson will uh, have the first down. Mike Adamley, what do you have for us? We'll keep an eye on this game and get you out there as soon as we're done the LSU Alabama game in Baton Rouge as well as keep an eye on a fight three things at once Ron there's the kickoff we'll get there soon thanks so much looked as though they had great field conditions uh, didn't look like any snow or any moisture which is good news for sure Eddie was injured just before halftime it is a knee we don't know the extent of the injury but uh, he didn't play since late in the second quarter Hill going to be sacked. That's the sixth time tonight that Alabama has gotten to the LSU quarterbacks, and it's Daryl Blackburn. Got it completed to 20. Pass. Finally gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 52 seconds. Lobs his pass for the end zone, got his man, Pesh, touchdown. Scores. And Alabama standing by with uh, nine people close to good hands, folks. Richie, kick it out to the Tigers. There's the onside kick, and it's going to be recovered by Alabama. It did go the 10 yards. Cedric Wilson. And this one tonight, Alabama will get their 700th win so they move in the third, and they'll have cake in the locker room after this one. Lance Tucker will uh, take the snap. He does. Clock started. And let's see now what they do with the 25-second clock. Not whistled in as yet. Clock is running down, and that's going to do it. So our final score from Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is the Alabama Crimson Tide, 35, and the LSU Tigers, 17. Now for Mike Gottfried and Mike Adamley. This is Ron Franklin saying a so long from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Stand by. We're going to throw it to Fort Collins, Colorado. And Joel Myers, along with Rick Walker. Gentlemen.